Greetings. My name is Dr. Waddell Brooks, Sr., your host, and this is Community Forum. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an outstanding guest with us uh, this evening. It's a person that you should know, and that person is Mayor Leon Rockingham, Jr., the mayor of the city of North Chicago. Good evening, Mayor Rockingham. Good evening, Dr. Brooks. How are you today? We're very happy that literally you're taking time for your busy schedule to be with us on the Community Forum. As a matter of fact, I say literally because uh, immediately after the uh, program, uh, you have a meeting <laughs> to yes, go to. Yes, I have another one to attend. Uh, wow. Lake County Stormwater. I serve oh. on that board uh, for uh, probably the last five years. So, yes, mm -hmm. I've got a meeting I have to get to after this. One of the many boards that, that you, uh, you're a member of. Um, but tell us about North Chicago then and now. Wow. <laughs> and that, that then is when you were, you were born and raised born, in North born Chicago, Born and raised right? in North Chicago. Uh, then and now. <laughs> well, you know, well, let me just say before uh, I get into that, okay. you know, uh, being that we are into a new year, I do want to welcome, you know, all the uh, viewers here, uh, a very happy new year. Okay. Uh, as we move into 2020, I wish and, uh, you know, pray that all of them have a very prosperous uh, 2020. So, uh, so then and now. Well, I, since you mentioned that, uh, the topic of this uh, program, you, uh, I gave you the opportunity of uh, giving us a topic, and, and what did you come up with? 2020 vision for North Chicago. All right. So, so, the, so the, 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 for the next hour, we're going to be talking about the vision of North Chicago. So, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, back then, uh, you know, like I said, I was born and raised in North Chicago. And, uh, you know, looking back uh, on not only North Chicago, but I guess a lot of communities, uh, those, you know, uh, what, 40, 50 years ago. Uh, okay. And, uh, you know, for North Chicago, you, we can go back as far as uh, the downtown where we had Kaplan's oh, yeah. Clothing, we oh, had the yeah. Park Theater, we had the drugstore, you know, at the downtown. Falls Park Youth Center was okay. downtown yeah. on Sheridan Road. Uh, so, uh, you know, Abbott Laboratories, you can go into, you know, uh, you had the Dairy Queen, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of things that were uh, in the downtown area. Mm -hmm. uh, and then look at the industry of, you know, industry back then, they looked for almost lakefront, you know, okay. to, to be able to bring their supplies in. Um, you had John Manville, you had the U.S. Steel, you had... Uh, um, fan steel, you had Lavin, I mean, you know, uh, mm -hmm. Abbott Laboratories was, you know, just actually starting, you know, in a process uh, back then. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you had a lot of industry and development going on uh, along the lakefront. Uh, Naval Station Great Lakes, uh, which was, was there, uh, the VA Hospital. Uh, so, you know, you had a lot of development and, and industry, you know, back then. Uh, but as time changed, a lot of it moved out west. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, you know, uh, a lot of things uh, evolved back then. You know, we had the urban renewal uh, out at that time uh, okay. when I was coming up. Uh, that was, you know, uh, land that was west of Lewis Avenue that uh, didn't have sewer and, you know, sewer and water. Okay. Uh, so, you know, they, that eventually started to be developed. That's where now City Hall sits and, and back in that area. So, you know, times has really evolved over, over the years. Uh, some good, some, you know, not so good. But uh, I think, you know, all in all, you know, North Chicago has con continued to, to move forward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, you mentioned uh, Marion Jones. Now, something good is happening there. It was... Uh, uh, re replaced or being replaced now by uh, Lake County Housing Authority development. Right? Yes, yes. Uh, Varian Jones uh, was there for many years. Uh, then Lake County Housing had uh, brought in a group called Benoit, who's the developer of that new site. It's Brookstone and Regency at Coles Park. Okay. Uh, you have uh, mm -hmm. a 50 unit uh, housing for seniors. Uh, which is actually full 
uh, at this point. Wow. And, uh, and the whole development will, will have some 220 uh, new homes. And, uh, and it's be uh, mixed income. And uh, as we start to move forward, they're actually uh, starting to bring in the housing. Uh, people are actually starting to move in mm -hmm. to the uh, uh, housing uh, there. Even so, though it's not completed, it's, it's moving it's, in. It's, it's <clears throat> moving from east to west. So you had your senior building, uh, which sits right there at Rankin, which okay. is right across the street from First Baptist Church. Okay. And then from behind there, you, you have your, uh, your housing. And those houses that are ready as they move towards Duckdale are moving out west. Okay. As those houses get completed, uh, they're actually bringing in, you know, tenants. Uh, to that property so mm -hmm. you know uh, so they don't they don't want to just necessarily wait till everything's get completed but they want to go ahead and start bringing in you know the the the, the tenants there and mm -hmm. and they've uh, you know they have and anyone that is interested uh, can go through the Lake County Housing Authority to uh, mm -hmm. apply uh, for an apartment mm -hmm. oh well, tell us about the population then compared to population now well you know uh, <coughs> <laughs> Actually, if you're looking back over over the years, you know North Chicago was almost up to fifty thousand residents some mm. some years ago. Okay. Um, but then again, you're you know you're talking about uh, with industry and and uh, uh, was was here in within our community, uh, naval, naval Station Great Lakes uh, at the heart of uh, at the height of their you know. Uh, uh, were, uh, the, the the naval station, uh, they had almost uh, I want to say 2,200 homes uh, that were actually there. So I mean, you had a a, mm -hmm. a, a very robust uh, community at that particular time. You know, we all know that now. You know, <coughs> just like uh, the Navy, they're they're doing a lot of downsizing. Their their mission is to actually train. You know the Navy personnel uh, and not focus as much on housing. Their, their, you know, their mission is to make sure that their Navy is lean and, 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 and ready to be deployed. Uh, so they went from 2,200 homes to like 1,100 to 1,200 homes uh, within the Navy. So, uh, you know, so times, times have changed. And, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, again, I think that, you know, all in all, if you look at things that are going on throughout Lake County, throughout mm -hmm. the state, mm -hmm. um, you'll see that, that same type of changeover uh, go on throughout. And uh, uh, the housing is uh, been privatized now, or has been privatized now, so the Navy is out of the housing business directly. That's, that's what I'm speaking of. They're, they're, <coughs> their focus is on training their uh, military. So uh, you're right, they, they have their own management company now yeah. uh, there. Uh, and and also the public can now rent at oh, okay. on, on uh, federal land. So uh, you know if you wish to go and rent a house at you know on Forestall or Hall mm Halsey -hmm. or Nimitz Village, uh, you have an opportunity to do that. And uh, and as you speak of things have changed, you know now the military police doesn't do the policing for the housing. The mm. city of North Chicago. Oh, okay. uh, you know, we have our own officers uh, that are actually uh, go out and uh, assist the residents of Naval Station Great Lakes in their housing. Is there be a union problem or something? Or, or no, no. Uh, <coughs> you know, we we uh, being that it is federal land and it has its own management company uh, okay. there, we're we're negotiating uh, directly with them. Okay. So it's not directly with the Navy. It's it's through uh, it's a company called Hunt Communities mm -hmm. uh, that we uh, have the contract with that uh, we do the policing for. Boy, um, you mentioned then you had Forestall and Nimitz and Halsey Village, Halsey Village and mm -hmm. so forth, and that housing now is is under the 
private 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 company? privatized through a, a, a management company that uh, you know that comes in and uh, does uh, all the maintenance and repairs yeah, yeah. Uh, not only for the housing I believe the roads and you know all okay. the services that that go on for the uh, community what about the tax structure uh, being on federal property I guess the the, the Navy doesn't pay any taxes to the city it's that's that's been there all the time <laughs> uh, ever since I've, I you know, since the Navy has come, it's federal land. Okay. And naturally, federal land, you do, you know, they do not pay taxes. So uh, that's why we had to negotiate a contract uh, with the development company, uh, Hunt Communities, so that we can, you know, receive uh, uh, compensation for uh, our policemen. Don't the Navy reimburse, uh, I don't know about the city, but the school district, a certain amount? Yes, uh, being, being that it's federal and, and non-taxable, mm -hmm. uh, those children that are, are on the Navy are, uh, that attend uh, uh, District 187, our okay. school district, they pay uh, what they call impact aid. Okay. And uh, uh, actually, we, we get what we receive, what they call high impact aid, uh, because of the number of students that actually attend our, our school district uh, from, that's off the Navy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, tell us, uh, we spoke about then and now, what about uh, <coughs> Mayor Rockingham, uh, early childhood ed education? Um, now, did you, are you a Warhawk or Bulldog? School. Uh, how could you even say that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> I don't want to have to pull out a knife and, and cut myself so I can bleed uh, <laughs> red and white, but uh, I'm a war hawk. Okay, all I'm the way. I'm a war yeah. hawk all the way. But uh, early in, uh, was that the schools, the, the students had to walk to Waukee before that was the North Carolina Now, now that's before my time. Oh, okay. That might have been around <laughs> you when you were coming through, yeah, uh, that's but, but you were down in East yeah. St. Louis, I know. Oh, yeah. But uh, <laughs> No, I think uh, the high school actually was in 1956 that the high school was, you know, actually came about. That's where so, you before your time. So that was, yeah, I was, I might have been about uh, okay. one or two about that time. Sorry so. about that. I had you up there with me, but yeah, no. right. <laughs> now I have a birthday uh, the 20th of this month. Okay. Which will be 87. All right. And if and you don't mind telling your age, you had a birthday. I, uh, I just had a birthday. Uh, Couple of days ago, January seventh, okay. and uh, yep. I am I'm a, I'm officially a Medicare carrying card <laughs> holder now. <laughs> so, okay. yes. Okay. Uh, uh, well, what about growing up in, in North Chicago? You know, I like I said, I was born and raised in North Chicago, and uh, you know, my I went to grade school at Central School. Oh yeah. Uh, formerly, it was Hart School. Now it was now Hart School. It was formerly Central School. Which doesn't exist now. Right? Yeah, and that, that's actually been closed up, you know, uh, mm -hmm. since that time. Uh, I went from uh, Central over to Neo, which is Neo Math and Science. Okay. And, you know, uh, Neo Math and Science is getting ready to, to build a brand new school. Amazing. Uh, Advi uh, uh, has, has came in and decided to build a, you know, $40 million school there, uh, mm. re rebuilt the school, which is an excellent uh, opportunity for our, our, our children to, to get the state of the art, yeah, you mod know, modern school. Equipment, yeah. school uh, uh, so <clears throat> I went to uh, Neo, math and science, and then uh, on into uh, high school, uh, during which time, uh, as I was coming through, uh, I was in things like scouting, uh, and uh, actually received my Eagle Scout while I was uh, uh, oh, coming, coming through yeah. Yeah. Uh, into a lot of uh, sports uh, at uh, into high school basketball track uh, did a little cross country running so and then uh, and then I moved uh, when once I graduated I went to Ohio University for mm. computer science. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then uh, on into AT&T, or Illinois Bell at the time, okay. and uh, uh, went into what they called special service. So I put in uh, a lot of the computer lines mm. that uh, businesses uh, uh, use. Uh, so I spent 31 years uh, with uh, Illinois Bell, SBC, Ameritech, AT&T as they transitioned. Okay. Uh, during that time, I married my, my first wife, Gwen. We had two children, okay. and which also grew up 
in, in North Chicago and uh, went through the school system. So. Now, was she uh, uh, employed by eight? AT&T also? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> in the family, family there. Stayed in, stayed in the family. So, yeah. yes, we, uh, uh, you know, uh, like I say, had our, our two children that was uh, raised in North Chicago. My late wife passed away with uh, ovarian cancer in 2011. Mm. Uh, and uh, I actually am remarried now to my wife, Yvonne. So. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, tell us about uh, scouting. You know, you mentioned you were an Eagle Scout. Yes. But we don't have, do we still have scouting? Scouting still exists, uh, actually. Uh, I sit on a board for uh, scouting, uh, Northeast Illinois Council. Okay. For scouting, uh, we are actually in the, you know, continue to, to bring in uh, scouting within uh, the North Chicago, Waukegan, and Zion area. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we always are trying to re recruit more uh, uh children into scouting and you know scouting now has uh you know it's it's called scouting it is not any no longer boy scouts because uh we try to en enlist uh girls and boys into scouting mm. so you know and it and, and again it gives the children an opportunity for leadership and then also it helps them to uh get an opportunity to 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 go out in, into nature uh, mm -hmm. You know, through camping and hiking and and, and different activities like that, it kind of gives it, it gives them out of that that city environments and you know gives them a chance to get out into to, to nature a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, okay, but now um, we spoke about then and now, and we'll continually talk about then and now. Mm -hmm. But now, uh, what what attracts residents or potential residents? to reside in North Chicago at this time? Well, you know... Uh, <laughs> That's a program within itself, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but we've got, a, we've got a lot of opportunities right now for uh, uh, people to, to reside in our community. You know, there's a, a, a couple of nonprofits, I guess. They're, one's called Renew Communities, uh, and the other one is called SEPA. Uh, and that gives them an opportunity, especially first-time home buyers, <laughs> to uh, come in and get a low-interest loan to, mm -hmm. to own, a, own their home. Uh, Renew actually comes in and uh, rehabs houses, and then they uh, uh, go back in and uh, have home ownership. Uh, one of the biggest things that, you know, uh, as you said, then and now, mm -hmm. uh, you know, then you had home ownership. And, and yeah. as, as things changed over, uh, a lot of those homes became rental properties. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so I think you're starting to see a shift back to, to home ownership. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, you know, I think that helps to revitalize a community. You know, when you own a home, you want to make sure that home is kept up. Okay. Uh, you want to see the value of your home continue to, to, to go up. Uh, you you make sure and and you know get on the your alderman and your mayor to to make sure that the area is is kept safe uh, and and though that you know rental property is is the same way but you know when you have a uh, your own property you know that's your property mm -hmm. you know uh, it means a little something you know uh, more to you and and you're starting to see that so. Uh, you know, one of the things that we did in the city of North Chicago, uh, we did what we call a blight busting effort. Mm -hmm. You know, going in and uh, a lot of houses that were uh, run down and demolished, mm -hmm. uh, we have made a, 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 a conscious effort to demolish those houses. Mm -hmm. And uh, being the fact that we've probably demolished some 25, 30 homes. Uh, we're in the process this year of probably bringing in, bringing down another uh, 10 to 12. Mm. Uh, what that does is that neighborhood uh, actually starts to come back up. You know, the 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 value of your home goes up because that 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 house that was run down no longer exists, and so that value of your home goes up. So you know, it 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 helps you. And, and, and again, that also attracts more people to want to come in and, and, and purchase a home. So well, tell us about the uh, 
Do the city own that property then? Some of it we do. Some, some of it uh, is, is st still owned by the banks because okay. a lot of the houses have been foreclosed on. Okay. Uh, but because of um, the process we go through, uh, we still either makes the banks uh, uh, tear it down okay. or we call it called fast track where we can actually come in because of the, uh, the way that house is, mm -hmm. actually go in and, and take it down and then uh, the, the cost of us doing it goes back onto the bank. Oh. So when someone comes in to want to wanna purchase that, that property, then that value of the demolition goes on to that value. Well, tell us about the tax structure then. You're no longer getting tax from that property. Well, oh, well you know, oh. we weren't getting taxed, you know, we were <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, but, it, but if it brings the value of the homes around it up, you know, mm -hmm. that, that your uh, assessed evaluation starts to go up, so you know the value of your, your home uh, will go up, mm -hmm. uh, which, which uh, in turn, you know, helps, helps the community out as a whole. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think it and, it, and it has shown as being a win-win. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the neighborhood continues to go up, the value of the homes, that means that, you know, you'll, you'll you know, uh, your taxes, you know, actually uh, will uh, actually have start to go down mm -hmm. because of that. Uh, so it, it, it's a it's a it's a positive for for okay. all. You mentioned about taxes uh, going may go down, but the taxes in North Chicago compared compared to the real estate south of us, there's a great difference, right? Well, and that's still that's through the school district. You know, uh, a lot of the uh, your property taxes are the school district, uh, which I think uh, has started, in, in, in my view, has started to turn around. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we've, we had, the, the school has had some difficult times. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you talk about uh, high impact aid. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, in, in my view, one of the biggest things that helped or caused us to have a financial stress on our school districts is that we were educating a lot of the Navy students. Okay. And if, you know, if the cost of educating a child in the city of North Chicago, you know, is, you know, nine, ten thousand dollars $10,000, but the high impact aid is only giving you six yeah. or 7000 right. who makes up that difference but the taxpayers of North Chicago? Mm -hmm. uh, so, I mean, that's, that's been a heavy burden on the school system itself, so they've continued to raise taxes. But I think even as you look at the school system uh, as a whole now, uh, you've got less students coming in from the Navy base, uh, so mm -hmm. that, that burden is not as, as heavy as it was before, uh, and, you, and you've got uh, companies like Adby coming in to uh, build new schools for you, which it now doesn't place that burden on the school system itself. Uh, so, you know, uh, I think in a, in a whole, if you, you know, if you're looking at it at a high level, you know, the school system is actually starting to turn around. And again, as the school system turns around, it, it's going to attract more people to, to come in because now you've got a school system that, you know, uh, is capable of educating, you know, uh, your child to a mm -hmm. level that, you know, which, you know, you want to see not only for North Chicago, but surrounding communities, so. One more, uh, and I'll leave the text <laughs> alone there. But I'm thinking about, uh, I mentioned about the real estate value south of us, $2 billion, for example, like Lake Forest and North Chicago was not even a million. Well, I guess, you know, Doctor Brooks, I'm not going to compare North Chicago to a Lake Forest or Lake Bluff. But I mean, let's, the tax, let's, the tax, let's, let's, not, let's is be, that reading the taxes are higher in North Chicago than all Let's let's there? be, you <laughs> know, serious about you know okay. the the comparison. You know, uh, I guess I don't look at you know uh, I don't I don't compare myself to a Lake Lake Forest or a Lake Bluff. Uh, naturally, you know, I want to make sure that the residents of North Chicago continue to have the services mm -hmm. that needs to be yeah. uh, 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 there. Uh, safety, uh, our public works, you know, our water, 
I mean, these are the services that are needed for any community. North Chicago has continued to supply those services uh, at a level which I think are, are, are comparable uh, to a lake forest, but I'm, I'm not going to compare, uh, you know, a hundred fifty to two hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollar home in North Chicago to, you know, uh, uh, seven hundred or eight hundred thousand dollar home in in Lake Forest or more. So I mean, mm -hmm. there's a disparity there that you can't, you know, you won't. Well, well, you you mentioned about services, uh, North Chicago. Let's mention water. We have a State of the art water, water plant. Water plant, okay. Thank you. State of the art, right. Well, mm -hmm. you're a great salesman. Now, yeah, you know. Well, we got some of the best water in uh, well, why Lake can't, County. Why and, can't and we sell water to uh, to keep the prices down? On well, water? I mean, it's you're you've got to realize. Yeah, I, I mentioned that because we're not using um, the water that we. Yeah, and sell. and that's true, but you know, you've got a water plant in Waukegan. Okay. You got a water plant in North Chicago. You got a water plant at Great Lakes. You got a water plant in in Lake Forest. I mean, so I mean, as as when you say sell water out, uh, we're always looking for new avenues to to sell water. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, maybe at some point uh, out west, as they continue to 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 grow, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we may be able to to sell water. Maybe we'll be able to sell water to Jawa because their plant may not be uh, uh, adequate to supply water out. So, I mean, mm -hmm. those opportunities still exist. Uh, we, from our standpoint, we will continue to make sure as we grow our plant and, and also grow our infrastructure that mm -hmm. goes, that pushes our water out uh, to other areas that, you know, we are ready to supply that water as needed. Uh, naturally, you know, uh, I can say that, you know, we look at areas like the uh, James A. Lovell Healthcare, okay. who is, sits on uh, Great Lakes water. Mm -hmm. uh, you talk about privatization for the housing at Naval Station Great Lakes. If we can uh, uh, negotiate a contract with Hunt Communities to, to supply water to them, uh, you know, but we want to be make sure that we're able and, and ready to do that, you know, that our infrastructure that that exists from outside of our plant mm -hmm. uh, is capable of handling that. What about Rosalind Franklin? You, you now, Rosalind Franklin actually, uh, we're already they're already on our water. Oh, they okay. they're they're on our water. The VA or uh, James A. Lovell is on Na uh, Naval Station Great Lakes's water. So, okay. Now, okay. now one of the things that are we are looking at uh, to make sure that we continue to give services to the city, citizens of North Chicago is actually we're looking at uh, building a new water tower. Oh, okay. And uh, through that effort, if we uh, can build a new water tower, uh, we're actually able to cut one of our shifts down at the water plant mm -hmm. so that, uh, you know, that, that water <laughs> tower will be able to supply water because right now we pump, you know, and, and produce water 24 hours a day, seven days a week you know, 365 days a year, if we could uh, uh, cut one of two of our our shifts down, mm -hmm. then, you know, it's a cost savings for the citizens and a, it's a cost savings for the city, but still be able to supply that water that is needed. You mentioned about uh, cutting the cost. The city is doing quite a bit of privatizing too, right? We talked about Great Lakes yeah. privatizing. Yeah, yeah, we we have privatized some of our uh, uh, services mm -hmm. uh, again to make sure that we continue to keep the uh, property taxes down uh, mm -hmm. within the community. We've uh, we've uh, brought in things like uh, oh, just one of the things we just did was enterprise. We're we're negotiated mm -hmm. with enterprise to make sure that our our fleet of cars, our police cars, and things uh, are are maintained at a high level. Uh, through privatizing that, we we no longer have you know mechanics that have to service them because mm -hmm. now they're being serviced uh, through a, a certified dealer. Uh, we have uh, uh, contracted out our our building inspections uh, uh, to have a, a company come in and 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 uh, actually do our building inspections. Uh, there's uh, other areas, you know, things like that that we've done to uh, 
cut costs and mm -hmm. but still maintain the services that are needed. Well, another area is community development. Mm. We we talked about saving money, taxpayers' money by tearing down houses and so forth. But what about industry um, coming into the city? And and I might throw another one in too. You may think about as a grocery store. Mm -hmm. For years, Mayor, yes. we've been talking about grocery. Store. You mentioned about. Uh, the Kroger, the Piggly Wiggly. Well, uh, I didn't mention it, but you just brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> we used the Kroger, I think, Kroger. Yes. But there yes. we talk. Pig. So I uh, know we're about four. A and P. Jewel. Yeah. And, uh, and, and it's amazing. Chain stores, man. And, and, I, and, and, all and, of a sudden. And amazing, a lot of those stores you speak of don't even exist anymore. They're, they've gone out of business. Well, Jewel yeah. is still Jewel. Jewel, but A and P is no longer. Kroger is out, as, okay. is in the southern uh, okay. Part of the countries. I mean, you don't see that within you know this area anymore. No pick I mean, uh, but pick but you know the the hardest thing about it is you know uh, you have your WalMarts, your Super WalMarts, oh, okay. your your Jewel food stores that are you know a, a large chain operation, and unless you be able to attract something to that degree, you know it's it's hard to bring a grocery store in. Uh, you know, uh, one of the things that we worked very hard at one point was trying to get a uh, Aldi's uh, into the city uh -huh. of North Chicago. We offer them uh, many incentives. We offer them TIF. We offer some uh, a property tax incentives and, you know, uh, different things like that. But unfortunately, we weren't, weren't able to uh, get that final deal. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, they actually uh, went into Waukegan. So, you know, I mean, yes, do... I, can, I will continue to work to try to attract a grocery store into our community, of course. I think it's needed. Same way with a uh, uh, drugstore, you know, okay. the, walk, the, the yeah. Walgreens, uh, the CVS pharmacies. Because um, we had a drugstore here. You mentioned that before, a pharmacy, mm -hmm. the Wilsons, I think, uh, yeah. privately owned. So, uh, you know, and, and I, I think it's very unfortunate that, you know, for a community our size, not to have a, especially a, a, a pharmacy or Walgreens. You know, if you look through the demographic and you speak of things like Lake Forest and, and, and surrounding communities, mm -hmm. if you come out of Chicago and, and go to the, the state line, you usually find at least a Walgreens or a CVS every mile to a mile and a half okay. from each other. Until you get to the uh, south, uh, uh, the north side of Lake forest mm -hmm. and it jumps over North Chicago and goes into to Waukegan okay. so there's a five mile stretch that that does not have a pharmacy I I guess my question is to a lot of why why not mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. uh, when I approached the Walgreens and CVS they said they don't want to compete against the the Naval Station Great Lakes uh, pharmacy uh, uh, commissary mm -hmm. uh, and the exchange but the citizens of North Chicago cannot go to that exchange yeah. because we do not have a military ID. So right, I mean, right. you're 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 talking, you know, out of uh, uh, a population of 32,000, and and at least 18,000 residents that cannot service that, you know, and those that probably are the least that can afford to to have to take Uber or Lyft or a taxi to get to their pharmaceutical needs, you know, they shouldn't have to pay that. You know, there should be a, a, a one here within our community that they're, they're able to go to. So, yes, I, that is something I will continue to fight for. Uh, and, I, and, and every effort I have, uh, I continue to move forward in that. Well, what about restaurants? It would be nice if we didn't have to go all the way to Gurney well, for Flanagan's <laughs> Full Moon is still available for, uh, for as far as restaurants go. I mean, those are within our community. Uh, you know, uh, you speak of things that are going on in, in the city of North Chicago. You know, mm -hmm. we just brought in companies, uh, uh, Grandma's uh, Cafe just opened up in North Chicago on Sheridan Road. That's uh, right there in Sheridan and, and Foss Park Avenue. I did, I did the rib ribbon cutting for them actually yesterday. Mm -hmm. So it's a small little uh, uh, restaurant that, you know, uh, uh, a family owned uh, and and I hope that people are able to 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 go to it uh, you know we uh, talk about industry uh, uh, MCO chemical just bought the uh, 
Centerpoint property out on 41. Some $40 million uh, uh, purchase. Uh, they're going to put another 2 to $3 million into renovating it. Uh, a a city-owned company investing back into the community, uh, mm -hmm. which uh, I think MO, MCO Chemical, uh, you know, is, is I'm, I'm quite pleased to see MCO Chemical do that. There's a company called Santana that just came back into our community. They are, they are a forklift uh, uh, distributor. Mm. They, they renovate and sell, renovate uh, forklifts and also sell forklifts, uh, and, uh, old, uh, renovated and new forklifts uh, within the city of North Chicago. Rosalind Franklin University just uh, uh, opened up their, uh, it's a, uh, like a biotech district. Uh, mm -hmm. that has come to North Chicago. Uh, that is a 40-something million dollar project that they're, matter of fact, they just got their building permit uh, and uh, to uh, uh, actually op open up to bring their businesses there now. So uh, I think there's a, there's, there's a lot of things that are going on that people just don't realize that it's happening in the city of North Chicago. And that's one of the reasons why uh, Community Forum invited you to talk with well, community, uh, Comcast is probably 100,000 people, uh, but if you have not been known all over the world, you will be after this program because <laughs> if you go to drbrooks.tv, it's all over the world. I understand, and I'm glad to see that. I mean, well, one of the other things, I, I just, I don't want to, you know, but 14th Street. Oh, Audrey Nixon, okay. you know, Boulevard. That That's right. That uh, it's, it's, you know, we, we just put the first roundabout in a, in a rural, I mean, in, in an urban setting mm -hmm. uh, within Lake County. Uh, most of the roundabouts uh, that you see within Lake County is uh, out in a rural area. We are actually brought it, you know, one of the first between North Chicago and Waukegan, mm -hmm. you know, brought the, the roundabout uh, to 14th Street. And that's a project that has, you know, we've been working on for many years. I mean, you know, we, mm -hmm. you, you used to be on me all the time <laughs> about when we're going to get 14th Street done, oh, Mayor. Oh, many years. And, yeah. uh, you know, here we are. Uh, we are finally, you know, we focused on it and we work with the county and, 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 and now the construction has started. It's going to be a, actually a two-year project before they get it completed, but mm -hmm. think of what that's going to do for the community uh, once it is, you know, uh, constructed and, and, and ready to go. We give a plug-in for Audrey Nixon, too. As a matter of fact, uh, she worked so hard as a county board member, district, I guess I call it right, we see the 14. 14, I Four, think. District 14, yeah. Mm -hmm. And at Audrey Nixon Boulevard will be, uh, let's see, from, what is it? From, from, Green, from Green Bay. Green Bay all the all way. All the way to Sheridan Road. Oh, my goodness. Yes, yes. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Audrey so. Nixon will be smiling in her grave. You know, I, I would hope her. so. She she did a lot for the city of North Chicago. Uh, you know, she was very instrumental in a lot of the projects that we did. So, uh, you know, I'm very, I'm, you know, uh, yeah. I appreciate all that she has done. And, you know, I, I will say all the, uh, our between our county board and our state rep, you know, uh, and even at our senator's level. I mean, a lot mm -hmm. of things that have come about because they, they do support, you know, the city of North Chicago. Rita Mayfield, uh, Angelo Cowd, Senator Link, um, you know, I, I really appreciate it. It has to be a concerted are. effort. It right? has to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Well, uh, let's get on some uh, community uh, activities now. We, we, we covered the hard part. Let's, okay. go, <laughs> let's go to some easy parts here. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's start out with... Um, we used to have what we call a Navy Day activities, and the Navy would, uh, I guess, would really come in and, I guess, would, they would jointly sponsor. I guess they didn't totally sponsor. They would jointly sponsor with the school district and Falls Park District and so forth. But when you became mayor, you changed that to Community Days. Mm, now, you used to, if you think about Navy Day, okay, that was uh, actually where the the recruits uh, from Naval Station Great Lakes would walk or march down from yeah. the recruits and go to a football game in the city of New York. I mean, so it was just mm -hmm. a, a, a way for us to recognize the Navy and uh, let them go to a football game within our community. So that mm -hmm. was, uh, you know, and I think a lot of that might have changed back in uh, uh, 
during 9-11. Mm. Uh, because they, they kind of went to a shutdown at that point. So, uh, mm -hmm. I, you know, uh, you know, things like that, you know, we, they no longer exist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that concentrated really on the, the football game it was, in, instead of a community uh, right, activity. Right, right, yeah. So, so Navy Day was, was when the Naval recruits because most of the time when you're a recruit, it's a, what is a nine to ten week program and you, they are not allowed to, to come off the, the base because they're in training and, and through boot camp, mm -hmm. it gave them an opportunity on a Saturday to kind of get off the base and uh, uh, enjoy themselves. The Navy had to uh, participate in the luncheon mm -hmm. at the high school cafeteria high, right. and so forth, you know. Sure. But tell mm -hmm. us about community days. What, uh, what was well, your idea behind that? you know, that? Uh, my, you know, we brought that on back when I uh, came on board in 2005. Uh, okay. uh, our first one actually uh, came about in 2006. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I felt it, that, you know, we wanted to be able to somehow give back to our residents of North Chicago. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, as I look around other communities, everyone had their own special event that they, they held. Gurney Days. Gurney Days. And Lake, Lake Forest. And, and Libertyville have yeah. theirs, Vernon Hills. And I said, well, why not North Chicago? You know, mm -hmm. why can't we hold something for our own people here within our community? Uh, so I, I approached the school district and the park district mm -hmm. and asked them for, you know, uh, funding to help to, to get the project started. Mm -hmm. Uh, it, and we were looking for uh, a total of twenty thousand dollars for seed money. North Chicago itself put up ten thousand. Uh, the park district and the school district each put five thousand into it. Okay. And that was back in two thousand and five. Mm -hmm. uh, and from there, we made sure that we we raised funds uh, and solicited funds from other organizations and businesses to host Community Day. Not costing the citizens anything. Not costing the citizens <coughs> anything. And then each year we made sure we raised enough to, to hold Community Day and then also put back our seed money, mm -hmm. that $20,000, so we can go into the next year. Uh, that was back in 2006. What are we going into our 14th, 15th That's year? That's then, but the cost now. Well, we still continue to, to raise, and I mean, it has not has not changed. There have been some lean years, mm -hmm. you know, especially back in 2008, 2009, when the economy, you know, uh, went down. Mm -hmm. We still hosted community days uh, within the city of North Chicago, and, and we still held it at a level that I think that, uh, you know, people can enjoy. Uh, mm -hmm. we, uh, we started off as just a one-day event, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we, we, we have actually grown now to a, a weekend. Uh, we'll start off on a Friday with a 5K run and walk for the family. Uh, we do movie in the park right after the, uh, the 5K where the kids can come and bring their lawn chairs and the families can come out mm -hmm. and enjoy a movie uh, in the park. Uh, Saturday we, we host our parade and um, we open up our, the park for all the vendors. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a main stage that is opening up. Uh, that, you know, we have activities, we have the three-on-three -three basketball that goes on, we have all the food vendors that come out. You know, back in uh, 2005, 2006, we would almost, to a point, we'd almost have to pay the vendors to, 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 to be a part of it because they mm -hmm. were questionable about what oh, yeah. is North Chicago going to do. Mm -hmm. But now, uh, like I say, 14, 15 years in, you know, then and now, the vendors are coming to us saying that we mm -hmm. want to be a part of, of Community Day because it's, it's been, event, yeah. been, been very positive. In the evening time, we, we bring on a, a main stage. Uh, some, you know, we host a, a, a concert. Uh, and then after the concert, we have fireworks. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I mean, Saturday is a, f a full day of events for the, the citizens. And then Sunday is gospel. So, I mean, mm -hmm. it's, I, I, I'm very proud to say that Community Day has continued to grow. Uh, and, and we made sure that and each year after Community Day, we reassessed to see what we can do better mm -hmm. to make sure that the citizens, and it's no longer just, you know, North Chicago citizens. I mean, we bring in, you know, people throughout all of Lake County to be a part of it now. So. Mm -hmm. What about uh, uh, Exchange Club of North Chicago? That's another uh, 
advent of uh, you know I, uh, I actually was uh, one of the founding members of the Exchange Club uh, mm -hmm. and uh, very proud that they've continued to grow uh, and and you know they take uh, through through the Exchange Club they they now have the uh, a trip to Washington for the for the V uh, for it the was it uh, the uh, I had that down to the Honor flight. Honor flight. <laughs> Honor flight. Okay. So, you know, uh, and I, I, I'm very pleased to see that they, you know, uh, they host the Honor flight. And the city of North Chicago from our city hall, you know, we continue to, to work with them and, and, and make sure that, uh, you know, uh, they have things that they need to, to host that, that event. You know, our veterans, you know, that have served in the military may not have that opportunity to, to go to D.C. And, and see the different memorials that are there. And, and you know, but they should, they should know. And that's I a mean, free trip for them. It's a free trip. It's an it's a overnight, uh, actually it's a two-day. Uh, you know, they leave on a Friday and come back on a Sunday. Mm. Uh, I know I, I had the privilege of being a uh, guardian. Okay. Uh, and uh, for what they did for those veterans, uh, it really does warm your heart. Uh, they treat them uh, at number one from from the time they board the plane until the time they get off and, and come back and and we honor them with an event actually at our veterans uh, World War II Veterans Memorial at North Chicago so you know we've had veterans from all over uh, take part of that so mm -hmm. the you know the honor flight that that, that was created through the Exchange Club uh, mm -hmm. you know they've done an excellent job. And you haven't forgotten about your senior citizens. Uh, <clears throat> you're a senior too now, too. Oh, ouch. So, so, <laughs> <laughs> so annually, you have a senior citizen breakfast. We always right? have our seniors, yeah, senior breakfast uh, right around uh, between Thanksgiving and Christmas. I think that's, you know, we've, we've they, they put that on for, uh, oh gosh, uh, uh, mm -hmm. for, for, many years now mm -hmm. and that's something that I, I want to make sure that continues to happen so you know mm -hmm. the, to let the seniors know that we thank them for all the services that they've yeah. done uh, for our you know for our you know and it's community. well attended too. they what is what is it uh, eight o'clock in the morning or yeah nine eight nine o'clock we, we get started <laughs> they, and I think it's get, eight o'clock and eight, uh, yeah. You know, uh, it, it continues to, to move forward, and it's, it's a good way to, to let the, like I say, our seniors know that we thank them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you do in your spare time? I know What's you, spare time? <laughs> <laughs> your 24-hour call, right? Yes. Um, are you involved in uh, church activity? Still, uh, member of Mount Sinai uh, Institutional Baptist Church where you're, pastor, not, you're not just a bench member either uh, yeah our pastor pastor uh, Gerald Wilcoxon is there uh, okay. but yes I, I still usher okay. I'm, I'm still an usher and uh, you're a former trustee I was a trustee for many years so okay. I helped uh, do the renovation and the expansion of, uh, of uh, Mount Sinai so you know and uh, under, under the leadership of Dr. Daisy Brooks. Brooks. Yes, she, she was yeah, the. Uh, yes, she the, was the. Uh, the, the Jim main. contractor. Yes. Uh, for, for the. Yeah. Yes, she, I, did I had to get that job. in. I, uh, I don't blame her. Yes, yes. <laughs> so. Go back home, you know. And you know, I, I for my getaway, uh, I still do a lot of camping. Oh. I, uh, I, you know, I enjoy, you know, again, th maybe through scouting, it, 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 it got me started. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. you know, uh, I like to get away a little bit on the weekends when I have an opportunity and. Uh, uh, just go out and, and, and camp. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I, mean, I mentioned community activity too, so you're involved in I, just like an honorary I, member, I, I guess, scouting, all, the, uh, all the communities. Well, <laughs> you know, and, and I, I serve now as the uh, on the president of Illinois Municipal League too. Oh, so. tell us about that. So, uh, that's, uh, a, that's an honor that uh, I know you weren't, was not gonna let me forget that. I didn't that, want that to. Was, <laughs> that was tops on my list here, but Tell us about the Illinois Municipal League. Well, you know, Illinois Municipal League is a, uh, there's 1,300 municipalities that are part of the Illinois Municipal League. Okay. And, and through that, through our league, actually, what we do is uh, we watch and oversee things that go on at the, at the state level and also at the federal level and how it affects and, and, and 
how it affects our communities. Okay. Uh, a lot of things that, that may go on that we call unfunded mandates that the state may tell, you know, communities that they have to fund without giving us the resources to do it. You know, uh, through that league, we actually kind of work with our, our state legislators and our federal legislators to uh, make sure that, you know, we are equally or, or properly um, represented. Uh, mm -hmm. within our within our community. So there's 1,300 uh, municipalities. Uh, I now serve as president. It's a one-year term. Congratulations. And, uh, and I will say, and I'm, I'm very proud to say, I'm the first African-American in 106 years to, to serve at, at that level. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I have had the opportunity since I've been a part of that uh, to uh, uh, be in communications with uh, our governor, uh, J.B. Pritzker. Okay. Uh, I have uh, <coughs> talked and worked with uh, Lori Lightfoot on a lot of issues that at Chicago, but also Chicago had in how it affects uh, Illinois and, and, and other communities. Uh, naturally, you have to, you know, make a few more trips down to Springfield. But, you know, to be recognized uh, from that, it, it also helps the city of North Chicago and Lake County to be recognized uh, mm -hmm. at, a, at a state level. So, mm -hmm. so I'm very proud to be able to, to say that. This is fantastic. Along with that, I don't want to end the program with talking about your favorite topic, oh, the North yes. Chicago 2020 Census, uh, uh, well, let's see, job fair, but it's still, I want you to talk about the census. Yeah, the, well, com the, the, 20, the 2020 this. census is very important to all communities. We have to get counted. Uh, it, it affects uh, all communities in regards to uh, the funding that comes into your city. Okay. You, we must make sure that the residents of North Chicago and and all communities get out at, at, and count as uh, to make sure that, uh, you know, uh, we're counted. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, our federal dollars come through the census, uh, our, our state dollars come, uh, and each person that doesn't get counted it's $1,800 that we lose uh, at a, as far as dollars that come into our community. So if you times that times 10, because it's 10 years before the next count, mm -hmm. that's, that's what's what, $180,000 that we lose per person that, you know, that doesn't come back into our community. So we do have a job fair. If you go on to the, uh, I think it's census.org, uh, and, and apply there. There's jobs available so that you can either be a census counter or uh, or work with the census. So if, if anyone that is looking for a job, Are those good uh, paying jobs too, right? Uh, yeah, uh, up to I think twenty nine dollars an hour. Wow, uh, uh, that they pay for uh, being a uh, working with the census. So you know, if there's anyone out there, and it doesn't. I mean, we want you know citizens from North Chicago, but anyone from Lake County that is interested in and uh, becoming a census taker, uh, please go out and apply for it. Now this is done every 10 years? Every 10 years. Okay. So okay. Uh, you're, you're going to start to receive in the mail uh, from the census uh, actually a, a, a number that you can go online and start to fill out your census. Okay. Uh, it's done differently this year than in the past. Uh, you used to have to mail it in. Now yeah. this, now you can go online, fill it out. It's by phone or by mail. So there's three ways you can fill the census out. We just ask that you know you get counted. North Chicago, Waukegan, and some areas are what we call a hard to count community. Mm -hmm. They they know that you know because of a, being black and Latino, a lot of people don't trust the government, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. so they don't they don't they don't uh, apply. Uh, so we've got to get out there and say that, you know, these, when you apply or, or you fill out your census, it is something that the government cannot get a hold of and, and you will not, uh, uh, you know, uh, they, they cannot use that information for anything other than the census. So responding to the 2020 census as early as possible is, is very yeah. important. Right? Very important. Yes, they will not send people out till probably uh, into uh, May or June okay. before they start to send people out to knock on doors and say, have you filled it out? But hopefully uh, we won't, you know, we will be there for that, but hopefully we won't have to because everyone has filled it out for Very us. Very quickly, 
What piqued your interest in politics? <laughs> <laughs> You it, know, it, it wasn't the money, I'm sure. No, you know, not at all. Not at all. Uh, you know, again, I worked for I worked for Illinois Bell at the time. Okay. And uh, there was a gentleman that uh, actually uh, was an, an alderman that was retiring from uh, Illinois Bell, and he was moving back down south. And he came to me and says, you know, you know, Leon, you should get into you know politics and become an alderman. And you know, mm -hmm. my you know my question was, well, what's the alderman do? Why right. you know why would I do something like that? You know, he said, well, it helps to give you the vision of your community. It helps mm -hmm. to 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 show you know what your community can look like through you know your efforts. Mm -hmm. And being that again, back then I was born and raised in North Chicago. Yep. I wanted always to give back to my community, and. Uh, and I knew that that was a good way to, to possibly do it. So, you know, I served on, you know, I ran. I was, I was blessed to be able to uh, uh, become an alderman. I served as alderman for uh, 12 years or three terms, uh, mm -hmm. for each a four-year term. I came out of politics, and, and then four years later, I decided to run for mayor, and uh, I am here now. Uh, this is into my fourth term. Fourth term. Fourth term mayor. As uh, mayor. As mayor. Wow. And in 2021, I will be running again for my fifth term. <laughs> or do you get that plug in? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like you. I, I, I take after you, uh, <laughs> Dr. Brooks. Get it in when you can. So so that you, you did it because my next question was, what is your ultimate goal? So that is your ultimate goal. I, yeah, but, I mean, there's things that I, I would like to see uh, completed. Uh, <coughs> you know, you didn't mention and we didn't talk too much about Sheridan Crossing, but, you know, yes. that, that is something I still think that is, uh, you know, we've got some things in the work that may start to, to, to generate uh, uh, some uh, commercial development there. Yeah. Uh, I like to see that completed. I would like to see make sure that our things like our water tower that gets get up and running. Uh, uh, there's uh, again we want to get uh, 14th or Audrey Nixon Boulevard completed, and then I want to look at Argonne Drive. I want to make sure that that road gets the, the, the same you know look at as mm -hmm. Martin Luther King and 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 Audrey Nixon Boulevard does. It's halfway so. done now, I guess. Well, so. we we, we mm -hmm. resurface it, but I want to do a total reconstruction oh, of Argonne. Okay. So uh, we've put that into the works. Uh, we we've gone through uh, uh, things like called CMAP Chicago Metropolitan Area for Planning, a board that I do sit on. That funding does come from for for transportation and streets. Mm -hmm. That would be my next project that I like to see done as we continue to, to do other roads throughout the city of North Chicago. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there's some things I like to do. I, and again, I want to be the one that says we did get an opportunity to okay. to bring that, that drug store in. Well, I want to thank you very much for uh, taking Brooks. time for your business schedule to let Lake County know uh, who you are and the thank things you. that you're doing, the strategies that you have uh, uh, have in mind to implement uh, during your tour is mayor. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been talking with Leon Rockingham Jr., mayor of the uh, city of North Chicago, and he's been uh, talking about us, uh, talking to us about um, the strategies and efforts that he's used to make North Chicago the number one city in Illinois, since he has become the president of the Illinois Municipal League which serves 1,300 uh, municipalities in the state of Illinois. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Community Forum. My name is Dr. Waddell Brooks, Sr., your host. <laughs>